YouTube gang. How's it going, everybody? All right, I've been, uh, I've been off of here for a little while. I've been taking a break from, from posting and uh, doing my best to take a break from social media in general, uh, particularly the short attention span social medias like uh, Instagram. And Well, I don't do any TikTok or any of that anymore. Um, I do have an Instagram, but man, I'm finding out more and more these days that uh, the way these things are structured are so incredibly unhealthy and so toxic and so bad for our brain chemistry and our spiritual health. Um, and it's getting worse all the time, as far as I can tell. And part of it, you know, there, there's, there's a couple of aspects to this, you know, it's because my own discernment is increasing as a result of the semen retention practice, you know, cultivating my sexual energy, uh, protecting my energy, cultivating my energy in general, you guys, um, means that this energy, this very powerful life force energy that rests at the base of the spine that sits, you know, right there uh, near our balls and um, has the ability to create life a brand new life, you know, that's how we all got here. Uh, we all, you know, are a product of somebody's balls in a sense. <laughs> that's a funny way to put it, but it's kind of true. Um, so the power there, the, the energy is immense. And, and so naturally, by cultivating that energy, um, it's going to go into other places when we're not uh, exerting that energy, spilling that energy through sexual means, it's got to re-express itself some other way. So this is why we're going to have more energy physically, uh, mentally, and spiritually. And this can be a very difficult thing for some people. You know, that's part of the difficulty is like they don't know how to transmute that energy. They don't know what to do with it. Now that that energy is freed up and it's accumulating in the body, for some people um, that can feel like anxiety or restlessness and without a healthy outlet for that energy, um, they may end up just going back to the old ways. So, all right, this video, you guys, uh, what, I, what I mainly wanna talk about here are synchronicities and signs and ways in which God uh, or, uh, you know, some people that are afraid to use the word God would say the universe, um, which is God's creation. So either way, that creation and that creator through his creation is able to communicate with us in various different ways, you know, through our intuitions. Sometimes we get uh, direct downloads. It's almost like we got like a book's worth of information in a second, and then we have to spend some time kind of integrating that information. Okay, so it's part of the reason why I haven't been making videos is because I've been getting some pretty intense downloads and I needed some time to really sit with this and integrate it before I start sharing these things. So also there are these synchronicities outside of us, these signs that we have to be ready to receive and, and have the discernment to know what's what. Uh, as it happens. So obviously, you know, this is a semen retention channel. That's a great starting point because you're going to free up this energy. You're going to have more clarity of thought and naturally your discernment's going to increase. And also what's going to increase is your power uh, and ability to manifest and attract things. Okay. Because your bioenergetic field is changing through this process. All right. Um, and it has not, it's not just about the, the not releasing of the seed, you know, this has a very physiological effect on the body. Uh, but the body is not just water and earth. You know, I like to speak elementally. Uh, if you can't tell my, my name on this channel is e ethereal, ether real, uh, ether being the fifth element. So we have earth, water, fire, air, and ether. So our beings, our, our physical beings are not just physical. They are water, they are earth, we breathe air, right? We consume food that came from the earth. Our bones, our, our cells, you know, our tissues 
are made basically out of the foods that we consumed. All of that food uh, was created by sunlight initially, right? So air, water, sun, light, uh, earth, and, uh, and ethereal forces, which is your true essence. So all things material are constantly in flux, constantly changing. Your physical body, uh, at some point, you will have to relinquish. Um, but on the etheric level, you know, we are all connected. We aren't necessarily in one place at one time. On the etheric level, time doesn't really exist the way that it does in the physical. Um, and so it's really from this etheric plane that we receive these higher downloads and this higher information. And this is how I believe intuition really works is through the body, through the mind body matrix, we're able to interface with the etheric realm because we are at core spiritual. We are spirits and bodies. And so this information that comes from the etheric realm or the spiritual realm uh, is able to be quote unquote downloaded through our mental faculties. And then we basically translate that information into whatever language that we speak. And if we're articulate enough, uh, we can then share that information with other people, hopefully in a way that they can understand. So, all right, and I'm gonna be offering more information, you guys. I, I mentioned before, I'm gonna start another channel, like a side channel, focusing primarily on holistic health, fitness, nutrition, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm in the process of furthering my education in, in that. Um, I'm about to start back up with school. So I do have a background in this. I was a CrossFit coach, personal trainer, fitness coach. Uh, I've done some nutritional counseling in the past. Um, I've been a behavioral health therapist. I worked in social work, you know, uh, counseling people with addiction problems, things like that. Uh, also been a teacher most of my life, uh, teaching music uh, and, and all of these things. So I wanna branch off and, and start offering information that's more specific to uh, physical health and vitality. So semen retention is at core a spiritual practice. It does improve our physical and mental health though. So it's really a holistic thing. And that's part of why I love it, you know, because holistic health is, is my greatest passion in life outside of music. So signs and synchronicities for I ramble on forever. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that's going on for me. And it's really funny because the last video I made was about the law of manifestation, about the real law of manifestation, I called it, the truth about it. Um, so a lot of people have this idea that, well, if I just repeat something enough, if I believe that it's gonna happen and then I repeat it over and over like a mantra, that I'm gonna get it. Well, there is some truth to that, but to me, this is more of the dark side of spirituality. So the spiritual realm, you guys, is not just love and light and positivity, okay? I, I think we're all aware of this by now, that in the spiritual realm, there are also dark forces. There are uh, demonic forces. There are entities that don't have your best interest at heart. Um, there are entities that essentially fight with the positive entities in the spiritual realm. And everything we experience here in the physical realm is, a, is basically an effect of that, right? It's a, this is a manifestation of what's happening in the spiritual or the etheric realm, whatever you want to call it. So there's a dark side to spirituality. Um, there are things like voodoo and black magic, you know, and these things are real. They're very real. The power that these things hold though is limited compared to the power of the light side of it, of the, the true benevolent side of it, all right? So when I'm talking about manifestation, I'm talking about the light side, the side where we aren't trying to get a Lamborghini if that's not in God's will for us. What we want is what's in God's will for us. And in order to get in accordance with that, to be aware of whatever that is, we have to start by being honest with ourselves. We have to start with some sense of surrender to God. And we have to start giving thanks and praise for what's already here. And that puts us in a more magnetic state. And then the things that we do attract are gonna be things that are meant for us. So in my experience, I've been able to attract a lot of things in my life, but a lot of those things ended up hurting me in the long run. And that had to do with my sort of 
disaligned, imbalanced state of vibration. So I'm attracting things that are also disaligned and imbalanced. So by being balanced and in alignment, which semen retention will help you do, then we're going to start attracting things that are actually meant for us and feel correct. And it takes time. And like I've said before, there's flat lines, there's, there's temptations, there's spiritual attacks, there's all this stuff that kind of gets in the way as we progress. It makes this difficult, but we can always break through these things. We have to endure. We have to have patience. Okay. So my experience recently uh, is that I am naturally attracting the things that I want and need truly that, that really align with me and are in accordance with this, with the specific gifts and abilities that, that God gave me and the passions that God gave me. So if you guys are honest with yourselves, you'll notice that there are certain things that you're naturally inclined towards, certain things that you're naturally good at, certain things that you're naturally passionate about. All right. And we got to be honest with ourselves because the world will condition us to think otherwise. We get in relationships sometimes and we'll, we'll try and chameleon to other people and we'll end up thinking we want things we don't actually want. So this is why solitude is very important. Uh, and we have to get very clear and honest with ourselves. And then when we are clear and honest with ourselves, we're aware of what it is that we're naturally good at, passionate about, and what is probably going to work out best for us. And we can start moving in that direction. And when we do, God, the universe, whatever, has a way of taking a step towards us as we take a, t a step towards it. So lately, uh, I've been in need of more money. Basically, I've, I've been needing to increase my finances. And that's been a struggle um, up until recently. And so I've been in conversation with God and being honest with myself. And, you know, I've had the opportunity to maybe go back into some other forms of work that I got out of for a good reason. And so right after I made this video about manifestation... This is, this is how things work, you guys. Um, I'm driving down the street and an old friend of mine sees me driving down the street. She calls me up and she goes, hey, was that you? And I said, yeah. And she goes, uh, you don't happen to be looking for a job, do you? And I was like, actually, uh, I am. And she goes, would you like to be the manager at such and such place? So, uh, so she brings me in. I talk to her and she just kind of feels into my energy and she's like, you look and sound amazing. Uh, I would love to have you here. Um, can we just start you as a manager? So, <laughs> so here I am getting offered a management position that's going to uh, allow me to pay for the schooling, that's going to allow me to start doing more work in the field I really want to be working in. Um, so it's just incredible how this stuff works, you guys. Um, ask and you, sh and you shall receive. But we have to be very conscious and honest with ourselves. What are we asking for? And who is it that's going to give it to us? Because there's the most high God and then there's these other entities. And they'll give you things you want too. But the things they give you come at a very high cost, right? The things that the most high God gives you, gives you comes at the cost of basically you just need to be honest and righteous. You know, give up bad habits. Give up things like lust give up your addictions your attachments um your sinful nature essentially you know deny the flesh that's that's what god asks of us and then he will give us uh really amazing beautiful things that are going to require us to participate and work right the lower the lower deities like lucifer uh will also reward you greatly uh, with temporary sensual pleasure and money and fame and things like this that are going to fade, that are going to leave you feeling empty. It's going to feel really nice at first, but in the long run, it's going to hurt you. The highest God, the most high God, who has authority over all the other ones, what he gives you are things that are going to last and leave you better than you started, right? So, you guys, as you walk this path, Pay attention, you know, be honest with yourselves first and foremost. And if you have a question, pose it to God and then pay attention and see what he shows you. And if you're on the right track, it should feel like you're moving with the current, not against it. So 
I think that's all I have to say. This video went on longer than expected, but I, I've, I've been out of here for a little while because I needed some time away from the screen. Um, all right. Peace and love, you guys.